All right, let's take you to Davos, where Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is once again there and making a passionate speech and a plea to leaders at the World Economic Forum in Davos. He urged the panel not to allow Russia's war in Ukraine to become, quote unquote, frozen. Speaking in person at the conference for the first time since Russia's full scale invasion, Zelensky said, Ukraine has defied expectations in repelling Moscow's forces for so long and added that its allies know what's needed to allow progress on the ground. This was a quote by Zelensky, which has been in short supply for many months, he said, regarding uh, those weapons. Zelensky also warned that any, quote, frozen conflict will eventually reignite and even pointed to how Russia renewed its aggression after attempts to freeze the war in Donbass after the year 2014. Ukraine's allies have been distracted by Israel's war against Hamas, which is threatening to spark into a regional conflict. And experts say that many soon will be distracted further by their own elections. Speaking at Davos, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen called 2024 the biggest electoral year in history. But despite these setbacks, von der Leyen stressed that Ukraine had far exceeded expectations at the war's outset. Take a listen. Russia is failing on strategic goals. It is first and foremost a military failure. We haven't forgotten that when Russia invaded Ukraine, many feared that Kyiv would fall in just a few days and the rest of the country within weeks. Now, after Zelensky's speech at Davos, Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned that Ukraine's statehood could suffer a irreparable blow if the pattern of the war continued and Russia would never be forced to abandon the gains it had already made.